Hey everybody, it's Jimbo, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Now, let's continue on with our investigation of the reserved variables provided by Corn Shell. And today we're going to look at the reserve variable that holds a random number. And our program today is called random.ksh. It goes over using the random number generator from corn shell and corn shell stores a random number in a variable called random all in caps and every time you access this variable it will have a different value and this variable will hold a number between 0 and 32,767 and 32,767 is 2 to the 15th minus 1. Therefore, technically, it's not a totally random random number generator because it does have a limited range in which it can create a random number. However, for our purposes, it's random enough. And next, we're actually going to print out a bunch of random numbers. So we have a print statement and you access the value within random like any other variable by putting a dollar sign in front of it. And we call this four separate times. And the reason why I did this is I wanted to show that every time you access this variable it has a different value in it. So this value does not get set at the beginning of your program and then stay that way forever. Every time you access this variable, it has a different value in it. And that value will be, be between 0 and 32,767. Let's run this program, random.ksh, and see what we get. Here we are. Let's run it. As you can see, you had 27,000 something, 23,000 something, 2,000 something, and 24,000 something. Let's run the program again. We get 30,700 something, 6,304, 23,000 something, 6,628. Now we ran excuse me, we access the random, the value within the random variable eight different times, and each time it came out to something different. And in our next lesson, we will go over a practical application for this random number generator.